Hey guys, what's up? Brandon here. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I like to clean my mods. Um, specifically, I'm going to be cleaning my brass dragon here. She's still kind of shiny, but uh, not as shiny as I like. Um, some of the things that I'm going to use are Autosol, which is an amazing polish. You can find it at like your Canadian Tire or probably any major hardware store. Um, then I like to follow it up with Mother's Metal Polish. A little less abrasive. Um, smells better too. And then at the very end what I like to do is use some 3-in-1 oil on my threads. So anywhere there, there's a thread um, or moving part I like to just clean it up with, with this oil here. Um, and then it also lubricates it, keeps everything moving freely. Um, another thing that I use is one of these guys here. Can't exactly remember what they're called, but um, it's like for a drum type sander. Uh, so I just take the sleeve with the sandpaper around it off, and then put some uh, painters tape around it just to kind of protect the mod and help uh, the longevity of this uh, piece here. And uh, I just use little pieces of foam. These are pieces of foam that I plucked out of my pelican case um, just to apply the stuff on there and drill need one of these bad boys cloths so you need some cloths some microfiber cloths are good and then like a chamois kind of uh, cloth and that is pretty much it so let's uh get going here. So I'm going to take the button out. So basically you're just going to, you can put it, put this in the bottom part where the button goes, or you can put it up top where the threads go. I like to put it up top uh, where the threads are. Um, so it once, once you tighten it down, um, it expands. So um, I like using this better because I'm not going to get any thread locking um, using other types of tools um, where basically it seizes it seizes uh, the cap inside and uh, nearly impossible to get out uh, especially without wrecking your your mod so just uh, make sure that this is backed off right and it's a perfect fit you get like a three pack of these in different sizes um, the other one of the other ones actually work for um, like the goon um, fits right inside and then you can just uh, spin the goon on your drill and just take wrench here and then just tighten her up you want to make sure it's nice and snug in there because you don't want this bad boy going anywhere so it's in there good um, always remember on your drill have it set at a low um, uh, setting basically so that way uh, you don't want to like squeeze the mod too hard um, but if you do it'll just basically it'll just like that I don't know all the terminology, guys. <laughs> okay. So let's put this guy in here. I don't put it all the way in there because I'd like to have room for my wrench. Perfect. Okay, so there she is in there. So then what I do is I just take uh, some Autosol. This tube will last you forever. Um, it really goes a long way. And I just put uh, a little that much on there. And then I run the drill slowly at first. Yeah. 
It'll go on a little thick in the first spot that you, that you started at. And if you need some more, just get a little bit more. I'm not saying I'm professional at this, but uh, this is literally just how I like to polish my mod. Okay. So let's try to get it coated as much as possible with that. Then I take a microfiber rag and I start off at the top here and just run it. You want to go, you want to hold the rag there and just slowly work your way down. Not a race. Take your time. And that was just polished like yesterday. <laughs> then just get the bottom. And the inside. Perfect. So then what I like to do is take another microfiber, one that's uh, fairly clean, <laughs> and just go down it again here just to get any of that black off of there you gotta be careful not to get your rag caught up in that drum thing here just a quick pass through okay a little bit of more stuff came off of it so now we're gonna use some mothers this stuff is uh liquid basically um, it's not a thick kind of paste like the autosol is and just put your mothers on there you don't need a lot of this stuff um, be careful when using this stuff because it is so liquidy um, you don't want to run your drill too fast because it's just gonna go flying everywhere um, so just go Slow to start. I mean, you don't even have to use a peat, like a, a sponge or anything like that. You can use your fingers. Okay. So now we'll go back to the other microfiber cloth that I started with just kind of find a clean spot on there you can rewash these and reuse them um, and again just start at the top hold there for a second and then just slowly work your way down But you can see that finish on there. Bam. Ching ching. Yeah. So um, then take your other cloth again, your your cleaner one, and just give it a quick All right. So basically by that point really nothing or not too much uh, should be getting onto the cloth. Um, then I take this guy here, which is like a sham, um, and I just just to finish it off. Get any what's any of what's left over. Okay. 
And this is obviously from like past polishings, but really nothing came off of there. And it just kind of gives it that uh, showroom shine there. So it looks just as good as the day that I got it. Next, um, so we're gonna want to take this off here. So we'll just untighten. bad boy here and then we'll get rid of the drill okay so it should just pop right off no problem Move the drill um, so then basically um, my button I just do that by hand um, I usually just do it with mothers um, so you put a little bit you put a little bit on one of these guys here just like just a dab. Run in, coat your your button at the top, and I just take my microfiber and I just basically like run it around the outside of the button, just kind of polishing it back and forth. And then I put it down on the table or whatever I'm using and just kind of give it that polish. And then I, same thing, move to the clean microfiber cloth. Same thing. Just trying to get out off any uh, residual that... Uh, might be left behind. Get that uh, kick ass logo. Oh, yeah. And you can go a step further, which I usually do. Sorry, this video is running long, guys, but if there's anybody out there that wants to know how to polish, this is uh, going to be for them. All right, so she is beautiful again. Um, I don't need to do this now, but you can also take um, a rubber eraser and just clean the the contact. Um, I don't like to use polish on there. Um, I just take a rubber eraser and clean the contact there. Final step then um, is taking the three-in-one oil okay just put a tiny drop just right on the threads there alright just a little bit take your microfiber and just go inside there and just give it a nice nice good wipe down um, this doesn't affect conductivity or anything like that um, it's actually going to make it better because your threads are nice and clean. And you'll see what comes out of there. Okay. Um, then you can take, got my RDA on top here still, um, but the threads on here, you're going to want to do the same thing. Just a tiny little drop, boom. Take a cloth and just kind of work it in oh, those are some clean threads there now final step one more drop on the threads bam and then thread it in to your mod thread it in Write it out. Wax on, wax off. Same idea. Just work it in there. And I don't wipe it back down. I leave any uh, leftover oil on there. It's not going to hurt anything. Um, yeah, so that is how I polish my mods. 
this guy back together. All right, she's looking beautiful again. Minus my fingerprints now, but a good clean mod is gonna hit harder than an old. I won't even say old, but than a dirty mod, basically. Um, so yeah, guys, thanks for hanging in there. Long, long video. Uh, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, hope you can use uh, my steps to clean your devices. So uh, remember, guys, safe vaping. Check your battery wraps. Carry your batteries in a case. Don't be that guy. And uh, yeah, guys, just vape safe and uh, happy vaping.